tell me something that I just heard about you. Mm. I didn't realize how heavily you were into making movies, but you yeah. um, you got all the tattoos removed from your arms. Yeah, I took them off my arms. Let me see. Because you, you, didn't, you were tired of being in the movies and having them removed. Wow. But doesn't yeah, that leave okay. scars? But it, it comes back. It, like, it depends on how who you actually went to actually do it. How, like, people go to the wrong places. And, I heard it's thinking. extremely painful it is. to get your tattoos removed. It's more painful than putting it on. Really? And how long a process is that? Isn't it months? Yeah, it, it'll probably take about a year before it to be completely out. You know, But it's easier to cover it with makeup. Like, like if we had a 6 o'clock call time, mm -hmm. I'd have to be in a, on a set 2 o'clock in the morning. To just to cover tats just, covered to up. Cover just to cover your arms. All right. Wow. So you said, I'm going to go to a doctor. I'm going to have them removed. Now, you were pretty yeah. heavily tattooed on your arms, weren't you? Yeah, on you? my arms. I took them off. Yeah. And, and what does it look like? Let me see. See, I see... You see, it's almost like somebody... Like little pigments is knocked out of it. They got to come back in. Right. Yeah. Wow. Drew on his arm and it's gone. fading. Not that bad, yeah. but man, that, that sounds very, very painful. Uh, <laughs> you say that you can cry on command. Does that come in handy in the movies? Yeah, at different points. I, I um... I could do it now. I could. Yeah, let me see you cry because I, I've always I've always admired actors who can do this. I don't know if I could do it for you right now. <laughs> yeah, well, well, you're. But an did actor. You, did you discover this, or did uh, I mean, how did you know you could do that? It's just different roles that I had to play. Yeah, but you, what you discovered it on set or something. Yeah, like what do you think about to make you cry? Just old stuff, childhood stuff. Think about what your father. No, nah, I, I don't know my father. That's what I'm saying. Like, do you ever think about, nah, like, I, don't, I don't know my father, and then you start to cry? No, nah, just, I, I had, like, a pretty rough childhood. I know. I can use, you know. What do you think about to get you going? All, all different, like, little little things. That, well, not little, but small portions of my experience. Well, like, give me something that makes you cry. Oh, man. It's, I mean, well, just the transition. I Your grandmother dying? No, going into my grandmother's home after my mom passed. That makes you cry. Yeah, that was a real uncomfortable feeling for me. Because you didn't want to live with your grandmother, you want to live with your mom. Yeah, and that was just, like, my mom was one of nine. She was the only one of my grandmother's nine children who passed away. Uh, were you and, angry about that? Well, no, but... How old were you? I was, like, eight years old. Mm. You lost your mother when you were eight? Yeah. That's tough. My mother lost her mother when she was nine. I don't you, think she's ever got. There over it is. It. You're crying. There it is. Fifty's got it going. You got the tears going. You are a good oh. actor. Or is it real? Whoa. Good for you. Wow. Yeah, I you just did it. I mean, you had him going. Yeah. You couldn't do that, Howard. Hell no. He's a better actor than you. <laughs> you might be. <laughs> When I did my movie, uh -huh. there was a scene where I had to cry. They um, they put the, they, <laughs> they, put, onions, uh, they put onions on. Oh, my yeah. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I cried. <laughs>